Hello, my name is Renee Clark. Welcome to my video lecture on absolute cell references and relative cell references in Microsoft Excel. A review of cell references shows us the differences between absolute cell references and relative cell references. A relative cell reference is one such as N6, indicating this cell is in column N, row 6. You have three versions of absolute cell references available. One is fully absolute. It will show both the column and row locked into place, shown here as $n, $7, where the dollar sign in front of the letter fork, the column, indicates that column is locked, and in front of the 7 for the row indicates that row is locked. Using the mixed references, the row is frozen in the first mixed reference example in $8, indicating the dollar sign locks in row 8, in with a dollar sign in front of it in the fourth example shows that the column in is locked in place and the row number 9 is not. Let's look at an example. Why would you want to lock in a cell reference? It's commonly used when you're using one number as a control for, say, in this case I have sales data, for the percentage of sales bonus that might be given. So in, in cell D1, I'm going to put in 3% as the percentage that I would like to see what it would cost me to offer a sales bonus to my employees. So the sales bonus amount of 3%, which is in D1, times the sales amount of $1,765.64, which is in C2. Press Enter, and I see my amount. If I was paying a 3% bonus to Anna, she would earn $52.97. Now, when I carry that formula on down by copying it, you can see that I seem to be having very large amounts. That's because the formula is now pointing to the row above, where I want it to stay frozen on D1. So before I do my copying, I would simply go ahead and make this a fully or a partially mixed absolute cell reference. The easy way to do this is simply to go to the cell, so I'm in between the row and column reference of D1, which is the cell I want to lock in place, and press the F4 key. This will toggle me through the options. I can toggle all the way back around. And now when I copy that down, you can see my dollar amounts are more reasonable. This is one of the most common times that you would use a absolute or a mixed absolute cell reference. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.